ta-da! All the Lionels on the table. We have a lot more model kits than we thought. A couple of these model kit boxes have just like mixed. This one's not a model kit, it's a, a picture, like a puzzle. And it's just got tanks, model tanks and whatnot. Um, a couple of those are model cars. A lot of model ships, some World War II era stuff. And track and track and track. This is like 40 more trains. This is a bunch of trains. There's like Marklin uh, in both of these mixed in with some other manufacturers. Um, I don't know what some of these are. Bachman, Marklin, and some that I don't recognize. Let's see what some is. No idea. Um, quick guess is this is going to be about 150, what do we say? 150 lots, give or take, maybe a little bit more. Because uh, we'll run sets like this together, I think. Um, we usually feel it out with the audience, um, but when they go together like a set, it makes sense to do that. So like this will be a set, those will be a set, this will be a set. 150-ish um, lots. I don't want to put a dollar mint on this. I want to see. It's definitely going to be over $1,000. We paid $1,500 for the locker. We've almost made two thirds of our money back on the three lockers. So this will definitely put us in the profit. It's gonna be a question of how big of a score is this. Whatnot doesn't let us down. So excited to bring to people. Anyone gets a good deal, they get a good deal. Wow, that's cool. Plymouth Barracuda on a trailer. Cool. That's really cool. Look at this box. Oh, Marklin. Look at that. I am excited. Super. A lot of track. I don't, we're definitely not leading off with the track, but I think we'll probably end up doing the track in like flat rate boxes full. Um, Golf train. shoes box? <laughs> Just train and track and miscellany. <laughs> this one's all track. Some small scale stuff. There's a whole box of trains back here. Some diorama stuff. Skill. Wow. All right. Wow, wow, wow. Should be fun tomorrow. Excited. Check out our whatnot. Previously. All right. We are on the way to pick up our lockers. We just got, we want three, we got three. options. We were watching up to eight. There was 30, 39. There was a lot. They're cleaning this facility out. About 30 of them now were just empty or just a couple pieces of trash. So three of the hottest ones we wanted. We just finished our noodles. We been, That's like the new model. And it's halfway between the house and the facility, so why not? But let's see. We paid 2,500 bucks for three lockers. This is one of the biggest pickups we've ever had I think Cumul cumulatively it's definitely the biggest um 1300 for the one we wanted how much we we'll we'll add it on there but uh I think we're gonna do three separate videos just going through it and then one video in detail for all of them combined uh this, this is the second time at this facility same facility mom and pop shop that got bought out by a big corporate entity and uh it's right down the road from the house it's next to the dump and uh these accounts are 10 to 20 years delinquent so nobody around to claim them they're long gone lost forever until we get into them let's see what we got mr tire let's go all right we just got to the facility same place. Our first one's right here. Right Isn't here? It? Let's start with that. A10. All right. And then we got G20. <laughs> <laughs> Who's excited? What does $2,500 get us? A few moments later. Ready? This is definitely 15 or 20 feet deep. Oh my god. I think we're gonna open the drawers. One of them says needs key. It's probably that one. 
No, the second one. Second one. All right, let me go in front of you, cause you, so you don't block me. <gasps> what are those? That's, I think they're car magazines. All right. See those in the photo. Look at this whole place. It's insane. Oh and my it's god. A giant... You know what's in the trunks? Holy sh! Huh? Move the camera to the left. Right here. That's a model. <gasps> the... That's a model train setup. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna look back at the photo and realize I saw those things hanging and had no idea what that was. I need to open that trunk. Oh my gosh. Here. Who's right ready here. for this? Behind you. Ammo can number one. Do I think it's close? Empty? Empty, that's all right. Uh, got some books. Ammo can number two. So this one's full. Oof. Oh my cool. god. Holy shit. It's heavy. Something's got to be in this aircraft blueprint. Oh my god. This one comes. Is a, this is a good sign, though. Heavy. It means they collect stuff. They're empty. We have hit every mark right now. Trains, die cast. Cool. Right, keep going. Let's keep going. Bring you guys around what we got. Oh god, it's such an old computer code here. Service. This guy's a lawyer. A lawyer? Code. Ah. Of caps. Guy or gal. Coca Cola magazines. Oh, you got more train stuff so here. <gasps> Whoa, look this at this. You see it? Oh my gosh. Gonna fall. I know this is gonna be a good locker. What is this? This thing is giant. Drive in between white lines and stop. Gate will open. Show you all the way back. So many stuff there. underneath is all blocked here because this whole mm -hmm. place is nautical quarterly. Oh my okay. god, I wanted to know what this was. Some boxes, some vintage clothes. Uh, yeah. Box machine. Okay. Okay. All right, you ready? Oh my I'm god. gonna sit down here. My new guess is that there's trains in these. Oh, please. Careful. It's possible. This is just a cabinet. Yeah. This one. This one. You want to stand over here? Yes. Set this back here, okay? So this was one of the pieces that intrigued us, a really old helmet. This set collapsed. Books. Okay, this is selling, right? Okay. Hmm. Smooth. Um, here, you want to hand me? Yeah. Camera? I can't even see. I see photos. Lockheed. Alright, I'm gonna hand you some of these. I see maps. Here you go. Same camera? Could be. Hey, your shirt is matching the color. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Looks like photos. And boats.
give me a stamp collection. Uh, ordnance and gunnery instructions. We got military manuals. We've got car magazines from 1950s. Yes. Motorcycle magazines from the 50s. Dulles International Airport. This is a femur gold mine. Encyclopedia, Funk and Wagnall's New Standard, 19, give me a year, 1910. Here's some of the magazines, Cycle, 1960s. Wow, Honda, 1960. Alright, put it back All right, in there. Okay, because I have no place to put it. Just put it back. Alright, I think we're going to take these to our locker. So let me take these down one by one. And then we can look at them as we make space. These lockers are good. Okay. Do you have? The first one is the hardest because it's over here. Alright, the goal is to get it set down here. Are there locomotives in here? These are Lionel. Some of these can be huge. I don't know the years on them. We're going to have to learn. Oh my God. Just stuff like this. It's my initials. Okay. I just need a little bit of space. Too much weight down there. Oh, sports cards magazine. This person's it's original. Everything. So heavy. All right, you ready? Oh, more. This was not on our list of expectations, but I will take it. It's old. Wow. But I have got it. lots of magazines to come. There's what's back there. Yeah. Ooh. This is the one that had an old uh, Mac. He took the brand out. So you see Adams? Okay. Santa Monica? This guy's from California. I think I want to get these out. Do you want to cut camera for a minute? So, hold on. Let's look at this. Yeah. Family is... What the heck is it? It's a loader of some sort. 
this is the same. All right, do you see? All right, okay. let me help you out. Right now we're gonna get these out and try to get the other. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Yeah. Ooh. Right. Ah, my hands are too cold. Frozen. Can hold it. You hold it. Psychology. I might be off with the lawyer guess, but. These cars so smashed. This guy was just like practicing a new tool he had on these <laughs> cars. It almost seems that way. A lot of really old tools. All right, I'm gonna put this back in here. I don't want to get this out. We have nowhere to put it. It's not really blocking our exit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to bring those few boxes out. Ready? Condition too. 1961. This stuff might be incredibly well kept. Okay. So far, we got an antique sewing machine. Camel cans, red lines, aviation, law books. All right, let's bring this up. Oh. Second to last one. I see a book on yachting. <laughs> I didn't even say it with yachting. Oh, more. American Rifleman. Okay. I guess there's still a chance there could be guns in the bottom of the Here real quick. And we'll get the last one out. This one had stuff on it. Oh. I like this though. I thought it was a tool bag, but it's definitely personal. It's just paperwork. Tabasco. Land com. Netherlands. That's Arabic. We're all over the place. Postcards. Jerseys, maybe. There's a tool bag. It's kind of a mixed lot here. That might have some jewelry here. Okay. Nothing right home about there. Alright, so I'm gonna get this, these two out, and then we got our last one. 
Alright. And that's until we good. see what's in the back. Let's see clothes hanging right there. Yeah. Two blazers or something. You want to check out what's in this box huh? on the back? Uh, yeah, let's get these out. Now we can get, get into that. We have some space. All that's okay. going to do is make a mess here. Yeah, that mess. This is cool right here. I think it's a table. It's a game table for three or four people. It's like that one you have. Oh, it's an old version. Alright, two more trunks. Better be the heaviest thing in here. Last one. Uh, I think we've got ephemera shows for the next decade. This whole thing is collapsing. Jesus. Can I have that? I see tires. The camera's my eyes. I can't see anything. I see more books. That's an old bug light. What is that? And then around that corner. At least it's low back there. I mean, if it's good stuff, we're going to be hoping it was more. Oh, man, this one's all trained. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Here. I'm going to hand you this. It's all right. I'm away from that. Okay. I'm on solid footing, too. Okay. So, this one right here is all trains. Where? This one. It's coming. Huh? It's That's fine. It's against the wall. I'm, I'm keeping away from that. Okay. Something's coming from my head. Yellow. Oh, interesting. Wow. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's take this down. I'm holding this for now. Okay, let's put it on dry. We have a lot of money. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Trace. Jesus. So, 
I don't know the nuance of, there's pre-war and post-war Lionel, I think. And the boxes help you tell. Do a quick search. Lionel Train 6019. Lady USA. Oh. Lionel Train. 2046W. This is a $50 train extension without the box. Cool. Alright. And we're gonna have a lot more to go through. Look at this whole box. You have a thousand dollar box for the frame. <laughs> okay, we gotta keep it down. That person just bought a locker too. It's 30, 30 night auctions happening today. <laughs> Accessories. These are all trains. Protect oh, very well. Hell. Okay. first <gasps> plastic bill this stuff as well if it's whole buildings you can get 10 bucks a building it's just a pain to piece it all together <sighs> that's complete Seems like he can't open the door. Yeah. It's very tough. What he just hand me <laughs> almost crashed me. Jesus, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, 
Here you go. I'll put it here for now. This one seems very more heavy. So it's extra important because we don't want somebody breaking into this tonight. Model B Ford. Let's see what a year I've been. There is no fucking year. 1932 is the car. Wow. I don't know what this is. Signal, voltage post. This might be actual railroad piece. Whistle, holy moly. Transformer, train, master, multi-control. The Lionel Corporation. Train, master, transformer. for a Lionel train master transformer Baby is this final? Is it? Check it out. Okay. On the left side. That transformer. <sighs> Please be final. This one? Yeah. Like yeah, only half. You're right. <laughs> Comics too. Zoo goer. Alright, what do we got? Soccer. The best of rocks. Oh my god, this might actually be good. Simon Garfunkel. Best of BTO. Bachman Turner Overdrive. Dead will do okay. Roger Whitaker. Oh yeah. It's the Eagles, we already sold that one. Engelbert. What is that? Tom Jones, not great. Kalimbo Steel Band, Les Waltz, Engelbert, Tom Jones, Kenny Rogers, Engelbert. Broken other knockouts. Ray Conniff. Mark Don and me. How Cheech and Chong, that might be good. How is the condition? I wonder. Frampton comes alive. Let's find out. Frank Sinatra, we have that one. Uh, a couple. Oh, we're starting to get stuck. Cha Cha Chas and Carly Simon. Oh, it's pretty okay. Pink. This one looks curved. Okay. Not great, not terrible. Okay. Nice fit. American racing equipment. Can't tell. 
know, more on hardware. Classics made in Korea. This is zero pin. Red head. Red head. What was the second one? Got okay, red head. Zero king. Okay. And American classics. And this is this duck some of it? That's good. That's a duck hunting vest, I think. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, what else are we going to get out today? More train. What do you want here in the locker? Ooh, that's fun. This is really old Thomas. This is Ertl. Well, it's made in China. It might not be that old. 1984. Thomas. I have a feeling that these are the less, the lesser of the ones we're gonna find and they're still gonna be okay. second. Just make sure it doesn't hit me in the head. Sorry. Got so much books. These are good. Oh, yeah. I think He's pretty organized. Yeah. Oh. Like everything, like, like everything every in this facility looks ransacked. 
but it's just, I don't know if, what, like an earthquake knocked all this stuff down? Yeah. What happened the last 40 years in Maryland? I wasn't here. I wasn't here. I, was dealing, I wasn't born. I was dealing with earthquakes in California. <laughs> I wasn't born. Really? I think it's not even on that one yet. Okay. Don't put it on top of it. for this puzzle. Oh my goodness. Sounds like the one we found jewelry. Yeah, he's using it for its proper use. <coughs> Nuts and bolts. Okay, how you feeling? When we're right, we're right. <laughs> Do you want to take the the whole net? What you're doing? Holy moly! It's so place. More? Car driver. Take what? Is there more in there? Magazines. Oh. Take oh what home? God. Take the net. The. No, that's gonna go straight to the trash. No, put it somewhere else so it's not blocking you or you could walk on the back. Oh, I don't think we're going to get that far back. I, I was going to recommend we load this truck right now. Okay. And then we go uh, to our locker, get trash bags, and start cleaning the other ones out. Okay. What do you think? Sure. You want to see more? I do want to see more. It's so cool. Now I'm trapped. <laughs> what is going on with this? Look how warped it is. Oh, so many people can't pick up. This, I know, is very expensive. Okay. Just that mm -hmm. brand. Wow. Uh -huh. this for me. I think that's one of the high-end train companies. ATSF Santa Fe. 1966. Wow. They are taking care of their books and magazines. 
This one has a plastic bag. Almost everything is organized in just containers. Huh? This is a first for me right here. I never found real. 1980. Wow. Film real. That's cool. Advertising, I think. What do you think about a 1960s car magazine ephemera show for the next 12 years? Or we just do exactly vintage vin uh, magazine. So these, this was like this and it just twisted over time. Yeah. Yeah, you could use that as a wood piece to push against it. Let's see if that works. Make sure that you. What do you got? How's it going? It's the other facility on Gaither Road. Gaither Road, yeah, just search uh, self storage plus Gaither Road. Yeah, it's confused. They they got nobody on site. Yep. Learn how to squat like a proper lady. <laughs> what is that? Wiggle valve. Straps. Got a bunch of old license plates. I like that. Parts. Auto air conditioner. Car parts. You got big old tarp. You got car parts back here. Uh, more magazines. More magazines. More car parts. More tires. A bunch of tires. Uh, water damage in the back. Let's hope that's not where expensive stuff is. Sale. It says sale. Everything's for sale. More boxes in the back. Fire extinguisher, maybe. Shocks. Wow. Okay. This is going to take us a while. All right. How do I hand this back to you? This is the three days, and they rescinded the agreement. That was nothing but verbal. That we can wait till Monday to finish the last of the three lockers. Uh, now we have to have it out by morning. So our locker is only open till ten, so we get an hour to make two sprints to ours, and then the final plan is to fill the box truck. And uh, we are now in the how many inch of truck? How many foot? Fifteen, 15. Fifteen foot. 15 foot of which truck, work. which is packed. Problem is, the locker was advertised as a 5x10. 20 feet deep now. So, we can do it. We can do it. And uh, those filing cabinets are not filing cabinets. They are Fire King fire boxes. So, they are 300 pounds a piece, I think, or 200 pounds a piece uh, empty. And the top one, of course, we think is full with something. Probably papers, but 
we'll see. So we're gonna have some safe cracking to do. All right, we are about to break. I mean, not break. We have laid down all this blankets on the floor and this cabinet soul firebox fire super king. heavy fire king what do you call it filing cabinet and the sticker on here which is old says need key the one underneath was already empty we had the empty drawers i forget what these are rated for a couple hours of very hot heat um we're Sweet. gonna tilt it off let it hit the ground then we can get it onto a um and cart it's like i'm gonna guess a couple hundred pounds a couple hundred pounds i don't know i can't move it okay all right let's see clear, let's go away Ooh. ready ready watch your feet yep it's going towards you okay let's go okay oh yeah what oh my name <laughs> the wall is shaking that's heavy well, it landed pretty good. Yeah. Now the handles are up, so we can actually God. move it. All right, now we have to find a way to get the hand cart under it. We're going to have to throw it at home uh, into the lock. I think it's, we'll see. I don't think it's very high-tech lock. It's probably just key op opener. Okay. I'm going to need help. Okay. To push it. it. You can Pull cut the... Pulling. Once I get it, I'm afraid it's gonna push this side. Then run away. Oh my god, no. Yeah, but you see. Yeah. Do you want me together? I think on the back. I think we're almost there. Me and you, right? Yeah. We got onto the truck with a lot of effort. It was a little dinged up. There was an opening on the corner, so we decided to exploit it. Look now, at what's inside. Now we're just opening a concrete box. We gave up on any resale value of this. There's no keys. I'm sure there was still some value, but... He's peeling it. <laughs> Look at the material. This is crazy. Three of us pushing this. Barely make it. What do you think, more than 300 pounds? More than 300 400. pounds. I think it's like 500, it's not exaggerating. I think it's like 400 pounds. Zinc, rum, metal. Zinc, rum, metal. Zinc, rum, metal. Both of our, both of the car tires are flat after this. Just watch it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Now the camera's going to be completely. Nice. Oh. <laughs> it makes sense. Oh, it's sliding out. You were getting this to come out. Oh. You might be like. Whoa, look, there's numbers here. Is that the secret code? Just kidding. <laughs> secret code. Do we have the hammer? Uh, the I can give you the break. I can give you the. That's where our lock is. Oh. I need to get. Oh my gosh. This is the problem here. Paper falling out. Oh, empty. Is it empty? There's no way this thing weighs that much empty. This is 
，它是反着了的。How many pounds the wall? A lot. How is, have we tried moving that one? No. I think there is one like this in another in another locker. We already moved. In it's, a locker, we won. Yeah, we have one of this. No, it's a regular file cabinet, oh. not the fire. Oh. But the one in there gives me concern that it might be just as heavy. A few moments later. How <laughs> to crack open a what's it called? Fire King safe in five easy minutes. Oh my gosh. Chinda Kong the How to destroy a Fire King safe in forty five easy minutes. You did it. Good job. Now we still have a 300 pound block of concrete on the fucking... Hey, uh, I'm even afraid to push it off of the tailgate of the U-Haul because it might hit the thing.